Hi guys, I'm Sally. And I'm Alan. And we're Sal and Al. The Wool Slayers. Welcome to episode 26. Yay! Yay! We've already recorded this once. Yes. <laughs> we recorded like 40 minutes of it. We recorded half the episode and then for some reason I decided to check and make sure it was recording. And it wasn't. And it wasn't. So pardon us if we're a little more rushed through this first part <laughs> because we've already done this once. Yeah. But it's fine. It's fine. Um, we're professionals. We're professionals. We can totes handle this. Yeah. Um, I'm Sally Wren on Ravelry and Instagram. And I am Alan Loves Yarn on Ravelry. You can find us at Wool Slayers Podcast on Instagram. And Sal, Sal and Al the Wool Slayers on Facebook. And we also have a Ravelry group, Sal and Al the Wool Slayers. Um, so yeah, episode 26. Yay. Yay. Welcome. If you're if you're returning, we love you. And if you're brand new, thank you for checking us out. Yeah. Thank um, you. So yeah, we have been to Camp Wool Slayers. Yay. It happened. It happened. That just happened. It was so much fun. It was awesome. It's been two weeks. It's been two weeks. <laughs> yeah. So much and fun. And it was great. Um, very relaxing. Mm-hmm. It was so great to just sit and chill and talk and knit. And get to know people better. Lots and... of laughing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and so much laughing. Yeah, it was like a lot my of fun. cheeks hurt at oh the end gosh. of Saturday night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Met a lot of cool people, just like other retreaters. I met a monk. Oh, that's right. I, I met a monk. And he is awesome. And he knits. He's a knitting monk. You guys. <laughs> he was the coolest. And he used to be a lawyer. Right. He's just like the coolest person to talk to. So, yeah. Michael, if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> he might be, right? You told him about it. You never know. Um, so, yeah. So, um, so we're going to show you real quick. We had a goodie bag for all the guests. And we're going to show you some of the stuff. Yeah. So everybody got a project bag. Mm -hmm. And mine is this blue with orange. And we have, and Sally, of course. It's pink and teal. Pink and teal. And I love the gold camp. Yeah. So they all had gold camp. And then there was a green one with purple and a brown with pink. They were so, so cute. cute. And just a fun little memento. Yes. Oh, I have, Alan doesn't have hers, but I have my cup. Mm -hmm. And look, it's so full. And it has a little heart. (laughs) And because there were drinks and everything that you could get in the common area. And so that way we weren't using styrofoam and They were personalized so you knew which one was yours. Yep. It was great. And then um, Independence Fiber Mill, in addition to giving us um, two skeins of wool and or two skeins of yarn and two big lotions big tubs of big what do they call it i forget what they call it it's in the footage that we're going to add um because we did neglect to add um the footage from the last few prizes we got were so last minute that we had to do footage at camp of them so we're going to add that in and there's two huge tubs of this like hand cream that is Mm -hmm. And you, what would you say? It, it smells like, like Noxzema. Yeah. Which I love that smell. Like cold cream. Oh my God, it smells so good. <laughs> it smells like my child. I wanted to showcase another donation we got. This is from Dawn. And she is Miss Twin Knits on Instagram. And you can order one of these awesome bags that you put on your arm. And you can knit and walk. How stinking cute is this bag? And it is so well made. Look at that stitching. There's a pocket on the outside. It's amazing. That's going in our raffle tonight at Campbell Slayers. We got another bag from Nurse Kimber Knits. There is her information. Nurse Kimber Knits. And this is a gorgeous, I'm going to leave it in the bag, but look at this project bag. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This is a zippered, and I'm pretty sure it has a pocket on the inside. Oh my goodness. So pretty. Another huge thank you to Independence Wool. They donated this gorgeous yarn. 100 grams of it, and it's got this beautiful blue tonal. I think it's I don't know if it's natural but and a tub of this wool wax cream oh my gosh it is amazing oh 
like mm, you will not have softer hands ever so that's another prize thank you to independence wool and nurse kimber knits and mrs twin knits and they gave us these cards that um are from the american wool association i think or american wool industry and so each one of these went in the swag bags. Mm -hmm. And on one side, it says experience wool, and it has all the properties, all the properties of wool. No, I was like, it's not. <laughs> Hello. Thank there. you. There we and go. And then on the other side, it has spot removal for wool fabrics. So, like, it gives a bunch of different things for what you can, um, what kind of stains you get, and then how to get it off. Okay. And this one it just cracked me up, and I had no idea. For lipstick can often be removed by rubbing white bread over stain with a firm, gentle motion. White bread. So We're being punked. I know, right? It's, it's not for real. So, um, so those were in for everybody. And then Chow Gu, when they sent us that needle set, oh, I thought it was a bug, but it's just my own hair. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Don't panic. But I definitely was like, oh, God, something's crawling on me. Uh, sent us stitch markers several sets of these so everyone that was a guest at camp got a set and they're really cool they're all different sizes and they're color different colors and I, these are my favorite ones these blue and white and then Super wc cute. mercantile provided a um discount card for mm -hmm. everybody that attended and um and so they were open saturday and sunday and because modern skein also provided a discount code um but they were only open Friday and Saturday, so people were going there on the way to camp. So we sent that code out before, before. camp. Um, yes. And then, oh, and then everybody got a mini. Oh, everybody got a mini of this. Alan and I got full size skeins of, well, I think we showed this last time, yeah. but it's the camp. Oh, oh don't break. I it's don't. the camp wolf layer one. I mean, this is a, not going to ever happen again from right. Suburban Stitcher who was also at camp, mm -hmm. and that was great. Um, so everyone got a mini mm -hmm. and of then this, we, and she also gave us a discount code as well. Mm -hmm. And then um, there were the little tatted stitch markers mm -hmm. that we showed last time. We ended up giving everyone got one. One. Mm -hmm. And then um, I think one set was on the raffle. Okay, a yarn on, uh, on the raffle table. Mm -hmm. So those were spread yeah. everywhere. Yeah. And then there was a Camp Wool Slayers pin. I love the pins. <laughs> and Alan made those. 2018 because there will be another one next That's year. That's right. Stay tuned. So we have. If you're so much interested, fun. you know, let us know and we'll put you on some sort of mm -hmm. waiting list. Yeah. Or just. You know, we'll have like a list of who to send it out to. Express your interest. Yeah. And the people that were at Camp Wolf Slayers this year get first crack. Yeah. They'll they'll be able to register early and then um, and then we'll open it up. Because yeah. we're hoping to make it a little bigger this year. Like have a few extra rooms, you know, gradually grow it. Get a little bit, yeah. But and, but I also uh, do like how intimate and small and, mm -hmm. and it was really fun. Yeah. It was great. So thank you to oh. everybody that was there because we had so much fun. Yes. Absolutely, and I hope they all get to come again. I know. And then our friend Libby, who was supposed to come but at the last minute was not able to, she donated, she ordered these for us, you know, on her own dime, totally donated um, for the swag bags. It's these row counters, these little wooden row counters, and it has, mine has Sal and hers has Al, and everyone else has had their, their full names on it. And it has our logo on the back. It's like wood burned. And I love these because they don't, um, like, you have to physically turn the wheel. It's not going to, if you throw this in your bag, you're not going to come back and have it have added 50 rows without your, right. yeah, I love that. Because a lot of those clicky row counters um, click themselves in your bag, and it really is not fun. Because that's the whole point. It's right. Like, <laughs> it needs to be right. Exactly. So those are, thank you, Libby. We're sorry yeah. that you didn't get to come. Yeah. She was there in spirit, though. She was. We had a picture of her. We had flat Libby. Yeah. It was, we had fun with flat <laughs> we Libby. We did have fun. Flat <laughs> Libby's still in my car. I've taken <laughs> several pictures with her. Because <laughs> why not? I know. I know. So, so that um, was camp. That was camp. It was yeah. awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you to everyone who donated. Thank you to everyone who came. It was just a blast. And yeah. we felt the love and support, for sure. We did. So. 
Okay. It fails. fails. You go first. Okay. <laughs> so we both have fails. <laughs> we both have fails. So my first fail is that um, we there was th we have a friend that's kind of having a hard time, and she wanted to knit her affirmation series yarn from. Um, from mustache. Mm -hmm. And did she get I Am Strong? It turned out that th actually three of us yeah. that were gonna do this little tiny knit along with her right. had I Am Strong. We all three had okay. I Am Strong. And then, and the other three of us were like, well, we didn't get the affirmations, but like I have, I'm pretty sure it's, I have The Last Jedi. Yes. And then two other girls have um, Jen Urso. Jen Urso. And we're like, who's a strong right? So female. we're like, they're strong, strong women, strong mustache females. Yeah. So I didn't want to do mitts again with my, you know, self striping, um, and I didn't. I wanted the stripes to show up, so I'm like, a hat's not gonna work. Um, so I looked at the, I went on Ravelry and I searched by mustache and her perfectly matching socks. So I found, I think. I think I found this in that search. Um, there is a hat that looked good. It's a continuum hat um, that our friend Erin has already knit out of mustache and it, it looked really neat looked the way really it good. stacks the colors. Mm -hmm. um, and then, so I found this zigzag scarf and it's it basically like makes chevrons and it's done in striping yarn. So I'm like, okay, well, instead of having two different balls, two different colorways striping it, I'll just use my mustache. And so the orange is the provisional cast on because I wanted to make it a cowl and not a scarf. Because I didn't have enough to make it long enough for right. a long scarf. Um, but, and I tried to, I tried to measure, you know, cast on the right number of stitches so that like I get a full row of just the color. But it didn't work out. And I don't like how it looks like on the back when you are changing colors when and the colors change right and like that, that ends up happening on the front, on the front. also and yeah. so I just it's hard I need to find something else so yeah. I'm thinking either the continuum hat or mm -hmm. um that is a good one I a friend of ours is doing has another mustache self-striping that she's doing Hermione's everyday sock in and the texture of that sock looks so great yeah. with the self striping like it just shows off the stripes really yes. well I so, definitely I'm gonna make some of those too in yeah. the self striping because and it's an easy those like are, are you talking about ambers mm -hmm. yeah yeah and I think is that that sequence knitting where like you're literally I, just I guess patterning right with like, some pearls I don't know. maybe I don't know what sequence knitting is. I know I mean I think I know but maybe I don't right I know <laughs> me too but I'm yeah guessing. it's just knits and pearls um <laughs> to give texture and ambers yeah. do look Amazing. They look like great. Every time she brought them out, I was like, mm -hmm. "What are those? I love them." Yeah. <laughs> so, so I might. Just I make almost. Up a pattern. I almost did that with my I am strong stuff. Oh. But then I was like, I just wanted some stuff in it. But right. So I um. So I'm thinking I might just make something up with that yeah. and like do something to keep <laughs> it from curling and make a curl, make a cowl with that texture. Mm -hmm. With that texture and do it with a provisional cast on and knit flat. I know. I guess I no no. I can't knit in the round because then it would not stripe at all. I have to go this way with it. Yeah, but yeah, but if it, you do stock a net right. or let's mainly stock a net with some pearl bumps. Yeah, it should right. be fine, right? I think so. Oh yeah. There might be well a, no because she's already done it in striping and I know it'll look good in striping. As long as you have a right side, mm -hmm. that's the problem. Yeah. As long as you yeah. have a right side, because on that you don't really have a right side. Right. It's garter. Right. So yeah, cool. Yeah. So that's my fail. Okay, so I had a fail with that cast on as well. Um, <laughs> we cast on at a bar, and I think that was part of my problem. Margaritas. Um, so we were all gathered, you know, to like support our friend, and all cast on together. Our I am strong projects, right. and um, yeah. So I cast on um, the zigzagular socks, which have been in my queue forever like for a long time and but now I'm best friends with Susie um the pattern designer she's prairie girl Susie Susie White and so um I was like I have to knit those and I love the way they look in self-striping so I cast them on and I, I immediately started like messed up 
<laughs> and just kept going. <laughs> and um, and then I had knit probably, I don't know, four inches of them. And the, the little cable travels down the leg. And it was at camp. And I got, I lost my place. And I couldn't read my knitting. And while I was trying to read my knitting, I realized how sloppy my work was. And how I had ladders. And it was like, you know what? This is not, you're not doing justice to this beautiful pattern and this beautiful yarn. So I ripped them out and cast on just a recipe. Um, it starts like a rose city roller with the, you know, stockinette, no ribbed cuff. And then I just did a tube and a standard round toe. And then I cut in an afterthought heel and I'm in love. They are so cute. Love, love, love. And I have two of them. So these weren't even cast on last time. That's impressive. And they're an FO. I love that. <laughs> so does it use half the skein to do it short like that? Uh, about. I, I, I feel like I have a uh, about half left. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking I might, with the leftovers, mm -hmm. add a uh, contrast color and do a, rib, a cuff and then do like a small fingerless mitt and then maybe like a contrasting... Uh -huh. a rib up here uh -huh. I think it would be enough to get two like palm I couldn't get long ones but right. I could get you know palm sized uh -huh. driving gloves or whatever they oh call. that would be so right cute. and then I would have a whole happy set yes so <laughs> cute I think realistically that's probably all I could get out of the leftovers mm. so um because this is a little longer than a shorty mm -hmm. um like a rose city roller would be more like here like it's a real short yeah um, and so I went a little longer because my roasty rollers, I think I messed up on the heel on those. They kind of, I, th I don't think I, I think I skipped some rows because mm. they kind of pull oh, down. They slide and so into I, your shoe. So I wanted it to be real, like long, not a full cut, a full leg, but longer than a shorty. Mm -hmm. But just, it's just so cute. So cute. And it was just, it's just what I needed at that time. I just need, you know, I just, I love knitting. That's mm -hmm. what I love. I love knitting the knit stitch. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Literally knitting. Right. And so these just, you know, stock and knit socks are just my jam. And I will do the, I will do the zigzagulars because when I, when something gets in my brain like that, like I'm going to have to make them, but mm -hmm. it was just not the time. And I just, I'll execute them better next time right. <laughs> because right. that is a really pretty pattern. Yeah. Very cute. So my fail yes. led us into slays. Slay. So what do you have? Okay. So I have, I have socks also. Yay! Yay! Did you want those? Nah. Okay. I'll just hold them up. So I'll do like Hohe does and just put my hand in it. <laughs> Anytime you can be like Hohe. I know, right? <laughs> I am not cool enough to be like Hohe. Um, there we go. So these are the following C's socks. And they, I did, I showed the first one last time, I guess. Mm -hmm. And Sally yeah, said... So. Cast that second one on right away, <laughs> or else you will not cast it on. And man, she was right because I it's like torture, right? It was so yeah. torture. I was like, oh, I don't want to cast. That's not what I want to be doing. Yeah. I want to be doing this. But other once you fine get it, one. it's something about once you get it started, it's yes. easier to pick up and and. But yeah. if you don't get it started right away, mm -mm. so I Yay. cast on at camp. So I took it to camp. I took almost everything to camp um, because my goal at camp was to get it started. Like. I brought everything and I had a goal with every little project, either cast it on, either get it to a certain point or, um, and for this one, it was get it started <laughs> Yeah. and it's twisted rib. So I really just needed to get it cast on because then the twisted rib at the top would be, would be good. Dark painting. Right. Or whatever, yeah. Exactly. Um, so I had the cuff finished and maybe a little bit of the first repeat. And then I went on a, 15 hour field trip <laughs> fourth grade show up at school at 5 30 on the bus by six and from six until nine o'clock at night you're you drive to austin and then tour the capital then you drive to san antonio and you tour the alamo and then you do the experience uh battle for texas experience and then you drive home for five and a half hours. So you got a solid 10 hours of yes. travel time where you can knit. Exactly. And the only place I didn't take my knitting was in the capital. 
because I wasn't sure yet. Double check where this going. Um, that was the only place because when we had the meeting beforehand about with the chaperones. Um, excuse me, is there anywhere I can't bring my knitting needles? <laughs> and they're like, maybe the capital. So um, I thought about trying it, but then I was like, well, I don't want to mess up my whole right. group having to go back out right, to, to the, the bus, bus yeah, to put my needles on. It. Right. Like I can handle an hour. Yeah. So, um, so I knit from here. I did the heel flap. And I was ready to pick up the gusset stitches when I realized oh, I'm knitting with the wrong size needle. <laughs> because it was written plain as day. I wrote it in big letters, number five needles. Because I didn't print the pa- the first page that has yeah. like notions and all yeah. that. I'm like, I got that. I just need the pattern. <laughs> so I wrote number five needles so that I would know what I was doing. I was using fours. Because... The first sock I knit with fives, but with my Knit Picks or Knitter's Pride nickel plated, mm-hmm. and I wanted to use my new Chow Goose. And yep. so I was like, oh, like it's a you four. Do. Let me just make a four and put it. Oh, it was a five. Oh, man. So I stopped immediately, and, and we still had like an hour and a half left. And like flogged yourself with the fours. <laughs> You're so. You're the worst. <laughs> exactly. And I'm freaking out. Like, oh, my God. I don't want to have to knit this whole leg right? again. So, um, so I did some crowdsourcing when I got home and talked to some knitters and was like, can I just switch to fours for the foot and it'll be okay? And I tried it on my foot and my dad's leg and legs are super skinny. I'm like half the size of mine. So, I'm like, if it fits on my leg, it'll fit on him. So, I just switched to the fours and went. Yeah. Did the toe with the They pores. don't look drastically different. They really don't. I tried to stretch, you know, the when I blocked one. the smaller one. Um, and that is why I always take two two projects everywhere I go. Right? Because, thank God, I had the second yes. project. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Sit on a bus for an hour and a half and not knit. What? No, you would have just finished it in the floor and been like, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> or, yeah. Because yeah, it's better than that. not knitting. Right. Oh my gosh, I couldn't have. Well, they look awesome. So, and your thank dad, you. Your dad will love them. He'll, he'll be very happy. Father's Day, I can now put them in the mail and ship them off. Nice. And they'll be there in time. Yay! So, so next. my next mm-hmm. one, speaking of camp. And socks. If camp and socks. If camp hadn't happened, these wouldn't be done. <laughs> because Alan and our friend Aaron did my pants and faces for me. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yep, I... There's like dirt or something on that. But Alan and Aaron duplicate stitched my panda faces. My friends are better than your friends. <laughs> That's true love. And they look amazing. They are precious. And then I put on the ears and I put in little black afterthought heels. And they are done. I am not doing anything else to these things. <laughs> I hated, hated every minute. I hated, I, and I don't like that. You know, that's not no. what I'm, like, that's not what I'm here for. I'm, it was for the love of Amelia God, that they're just done. so fiddly. <laughs> Even the ears, I was like the biggest baby about these ears because it was so fiddly. And I just, you But know, they're worth it. They're so cute. They're super cute. And she loves them. She cannot wait to get her hands on them. I let her try them on, and they are precious. So, because they're like almost knee highs on her, so they are so cute. Yeah. So thank you so much. Yeah. Oh my oh, god. You're like, so welcome. Oh, I well, just so we did a trade because yeah. I was happy to do them without the trade, but then I don't know how it even came up. I have no idea. Somehow I was like, well, I'll do these, and then you. How about you take pictures of all the projects that I brought that don't have pictures on Ravelry? And she's like, oh yes. I mean, I was like. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Like, we both feel like we got the better oh end my of that deal, which is funny because I kept saying, yes. like, I am so screwing you over right now. And she was like, no, this is way better. And yes. I'm like, you are nuts. I would much <laughs> rather do that and than take pictures. I would much rather take pictures than duplicate stitch. Like, and I had, like, ten projects. I so mean, it wasn't like they, I only had two. Yeah, but still, it was not. No. Like, I had fun taking your pictures. And I had fun duplicate stitching. We're such a good team. I know we are. High five. <laughs> It was great. <laughs> and then you had Aaron in there too. Like it was yep. just, oh. It was so great. I didn't do anything for Aaron. I know. 
She didn't ask for a trade. She didn't. <laughs> you missed you missed out, Erin. Sorry. Oh, um, she might be holding it out for ooh, you. Oh, true. Ooh. I'll do anything for her. She I knows know that. you would. <laughs> um, so yes, they're done. Yeah. <gasps> I had you know I had only cast those on in February. No. I would have sworn they were from at least from twelve days right. of cast on in December, but they were right. they were from February and it feels like I've been working on them for years. It does. It feels like you've been talking about them for a long time. <laughs> Don't do that again. But they're so cute. Yeah, I'll never Never. No matter how much Amelia loves them and begs and pleads, don't do it. Never again. That is not the kind of knitter that I am. No. And you just need to know that about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Okay. I have my May interpretation. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I love it. Those it's, colors are perfect. They, it, well, and this is almost the exact colors. In, like, this is the co color combination that she used in the pattern. It's not oh, the same yarn. Oh, there you go. But it but was a, a pink. A raspberry mm -hmm. and a gray. And a gray. Um, it's Above the Horizon by Vera Valamaki. I forget which interpretations it's from, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, I thought I was doing really well with my tension on the Fair Isle part, the, the peaks. But when I do this. Like when it's on your head. Yes. You can see and you can feel that it's tighter in that section. Oh. And you can see where I trap the floats. But what I think really, well, I think what's allowing the, the visual of the floats to come through is that this gray is Frabjus Fibers, um, their gradient set in the Cheshire Wonderland. 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 And I don't um, know, it may be Cheshire as well. but. And I think this is a light fingering. And this is Lost City Knits, and it is definitely a fingering. Like, it's not a heavy fingering. It's just straight-on fingering. Gotcha. And th I think that's also why it doesn't fit as well, because this, this goes really tight. And even though it's ribbing and it stretches, it's still stretched to its max too, when it goes too, on my head. Too much. Yes. And I have puffy hair. So when I do this, you can see that there it puffs here in this section and then it's tight here. This part looks so And then it cute puffs though. here. So it's not terrible. It's not terrible. But but I can see it like right here. I don't know. I, I just, know. So it's really cute though. It's I, a cute hat. Thank you. It was intended or it wasn't intended for anybody in particular. I just really like the hat. Mm -hmm. And so I um I think I'll give it to, I think it'll go into my gift bin to give to my brother's girlfriend. They live in New York City, and she has long hair, blonde, so I think it'll look good on her, yeah. and it probably won't puff. Um, I'm I'm disappointed about the tension. I mean, maybe maybe my floats are fine. Maybe my tension is fine. I mean, they fine. look fine. It doesn't look puffy. It's just that it's and not, it When everything stretch else stretches, it doesn't stretch. Right. So I don't know. Is it supposed to stretch as much as everything else? Or is that kind of impossible? Because then it would be all loose if you had it stretch as much as everything else. I don't know. Because like, they're not actually But, you know, I did, I did that baby hat that had scallops mm -hmm. that were ferrile, like, almost exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Maybe because it doesn't have to stretch as much. Like, I didn't right. notice that with that hat. But maybe it's not trying to be stretched. Right. So, I don't to know. fit on the head. I don't so, know. But it's it finished. still looks really good. It yeah. does. It looks yeah. great. It does. Oh, and I my third and final FO is my internet cowl. <gasps> and I love it. I loved knitting it. It was really fun. Um, easy. Easy pattern. Look at you. You just put it right on and it looks like, bam. Second time, baby. <laughs> right. Um, this is... Again, by Susie White, Prairie Girl Susie. And um, the design, the, the pattern is by Susie. And the, it's called Internet. And the yarn is Suburban Stitcher in her DK. And it's called, the color is Mixtape Romance. And the buttons I got at Quixotic um, at Fiberfest. All of it's Fiberfest. So all of it's Fiberfest. I got the pattern yarn and buttons. And this was my Mother's Day cast on. So it's super special and it's extra girly. I did the Pico bind off and cast on. 
totally worth a little bit of extra effort just to get that little fr frill. Mm -hmm. Love it. It's so gorgeous. I, I miss the minute I cast it off. I was like, no, I want to keep knitting it. Like, right. and that very rarely happens. Let's be real. Like, usually you're like, yes, it's done. I was legitimately sad that it was. So I guess I need to make another one. I know, right? right? I I just love everything about it. And, and you, how much do you have left? Did it use the whole? Uh, lot? No, it didn't use the whole thing. I probably have like I don't know, 25% left. Oh. It's not quite half. Um, and you can you can also button it all like these are fully functional. You can button it all the way, all five buttons, and so then it's you know tighter and cozier. So I just Love think it. it's wonderful. It is. It is gorgeous. Such a good marriage of yarn and pattern. Thank you. I was nervous. You know, I had I overthought it in Diane's booth at Fiberfest. Like, oh, do you think this is too busy? For this cowl and she was like no look at the original look at the pattern page it's super busy yarn mm -hmm. and it looks great and she's you know mm -hmm. this is I think it's great it's gorgeous it doesn't it doesn't detract at all mm -mm. so I'm super happy with that love it love it love it okay my third one because this is the FO parade it is um is my hitchhiker it's so happy yay in White Birch Farm, right, White, White, White Birch, Birch Fiber Art. Fiber Art. <laughs> Thank you. Um, nothing says screw you like a rainbow colorway, which I love. Yes. And Sally enabled that by <laughs> <laughs> buying it herself. And, and I love how, like, um, even when your rows got longer, like mm -hmm. you still got the full rainbow and yep. sky. Like it didn't. Yeah. And so I have the little. Tail, full <laughs> rainbow here, which Sally said before that it looks like a dragon tail. It just tail. looks like a dragon and tail to me. Something about that yeah. red. <laughs> it does, and I yeah. can tie it if I want. It's such a perfect um, little spring chalet. Yeah. I love it. It feels so it good. It made a really good fabric. It made such a great fabric. I did it on a four pattern calls for two. Oh. Uh, she has to be like the loosest yeah. knitter ever because all of her shawls. Um, you have to go up. I you, can't yeah. even imagine. Um, but it is so great, and it's I can't so wait drapey. to wear it in the spring totally. and just have that rainbow going. And I'll probably wear it on St. Patrick's Day because for some reason, unless it's totally degrees, rainbows are totally yeah St. Patrick's leprechauns Day. and mm -hmm. the gold at the end of the rainbow just makes me think of St. Patrick's Day. So I just got Nolan a Lucky Charms shirt at Old Navy for a dollar twenty-five. Because it was like a St. Patrick's Day shirt. Oh my gosh. And it has like the Lucky Charms and the little yeah. guy on it. I was like, oh, he's so cute. <laughs> so he needs your shawl. I know, right? <laughs> he would wear it yeah. as like a bandana or something. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yeah. the FO so, parade is over. Yes. And now we're on to whips. Whips? Okay. So I have, I only have two yeah. whips. And I'll show just real quick my sweater. Because it kind of still looks the same. <laughs> I've worked on it. But it's only a smidge bigger. Yeah. It is bigger though, because I feel like before you could only put it over your eyes. Yeah. Um, I think I've added two repeats since I last showed it. Um, so this is the Tail Feather by Heidi Kermeyer. Kerm Kerm That's how I'm saying it. Um, but it's a modified version um, because I tried on the sample at Shibui and they had it um, with a much with a bigger needle and you um, knit a small size and then block the heck out of it to make it. A real meshy drapey so it won't look like the pattern picture but um, I'm trying to keep these from clicking sorry it's shibui linen and it's great I just you know it's you have to read the pattern you know you have to look at the pattern when you're knitting it so it doesn't get knit quite as much right. but I'm still loving it I you know I don't mind knitting with the linen and I love the way it looks and I want to wear it it's just slower slower going mm -hmm. um, you don't have the excitement of color changes. Right. Anything. Like, it's just black and, you know, mm -hmm. like, whatever. Yeah. So. That's the one where you have to stay focused on, like, the product. Yes. I want this sweater. I want this sweater. <laughs> right. Because the process is kind of boring. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay. okay. So, I have a sweater also that y'all have seen before. <laughs> my Shisui Shrug. And my goal at um, 
I took it to Campbell Slayers, and my goal was to get it to the point where I was dividing for the sleeves, and I did. I got it to that point. I put the sleeves on waist yarn and put it down for a week. But then I wanted to get the sleeves finished. It's so cute. So I did the sleeves. <laughs> Those little sleeves crack me up. I know, right? <laughs> Because they're only to yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> they are. And um, and the sleeves are one color brioche, which I hadn't done in so long. And it's so easy. <laughs> I mean, it's so, like, one color brioche. I need to do more of that. Because <laughs> it's pretty simple. Not that I think two color brioche is difficult, but where did it go? It's right here. <laughs> I know. I was like, she's going to need it. I know. So I put it on longer needles like I expanded the bodies on a mm -hmm. cable like a long cable yes I added to because it's an interchangeable so I added to the cable so it looks awesome there we go and it goes to like a little past my bra strap yeah. and um but I have I, I only have like 50 rows to go that are <laughs> just checking <laughs> I know right I only have like 50 rows to go which is really only like 25 because it's brioche and so, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it grows a lot. Yeah, it's got to grow once I get it off. The, it, like, it's still too small. Like, the right. needle or the cable You're not still, getting an accurate picture of how. Exactly. Like, it it's not stretched good. out to it full size. So good. I love it so far. This will probably grow a lot because that's all garbage. Mm -hmm. And it says to block it like mad. Oh, like, okay. pull it then, tighter yeah. than you normally but would. But I understand what you mean. You're like, it only has... Mm -hmm. And it's only covering my... Right. <laughs> and it's supposed to go, like, past my butt. Right. <laughs> so. It, yeah. Uh, we'll, it looks awesome, yeah. though. But I'm excited. It. I feel like I'm almost finished, but I'm so not almost finished. <laughs> <laughs> well, didn't, didn't you say, like, I only have 15 rows, and then I can divide for the sleeves, and you're like, that took two weeks. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> two weeks of monogamous knitting. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but just because it's long rows exactly. of brioche. So. Exactly. Okay. So what else oh, do you have uh, to do with? Oh, I have one more whip, and it's a new cast on from last time. And it's a kit that I show. Oops, sorry. I oh, show and now we're finally getting to the content we haven't recorded already. Oh, yay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, because I was just about to talk about exactly. this. Okay. So I, I showed this when I bought the kit. It's the Scania shawl kit from Craftsy. And the grocery girls um, did a whole needles up thing on it. Um, our whole series of videos. So you get these five colors and you hold two together through the whole thing. Like... So you're constantly changing which two get held together. So the whole thing is marled, um, which I am loving. Yeah. Um, Cause I, and what I love is so each, it just gives a different look. Like that's gray and blue and then black and gray, mm. blue and white held together. Blue. Gray, and I think that's a, there's a cream color. I think that's gray and cream. Black and gray again. This is the white and cream. Oh. Yeah. So that's like even that. Marled. Mm hmm huh. Yeah, and it looks really good, and, and it doesn't show up on camera, right. but look how good that looks. Yeah. And then blue and gray, and then blue and white, and then I love the black and white. Uh -huh. I just started that, and look how good that looks. So the whole thing is fingering weight held double. So does it go so fast? It's going really fast, yeah. That's why I picked it. Uh-huh. Because um, we both were having that, like, oh, we're kind of just over fingering weight. Just just for a minute, you know, because like, right. we're never going to be completely over no. fingering weight. I have too much of it in my stash. Ex <laughs> well, and it's still my favorite. I just love the way it looks. But right. this is fingering weight, but it's held double. So I think I'm using a 10. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's a US 10, 6 millimeter. So... Look at that. Doesn't that look great? Yeah. I love the marling. And is this a cable? It's a faux cable. Oh, like okay. it's a um like a texture. It's it looks it's you know designed to look like a cable and it's not showing up great. Uh -huh. Shows up best right here, I think. See this? It's just it's basically a crossover uh -huh. um just made to look like a cable. I can't really get it to show up, but look at that. And then the cool thing is this garter edge. Hi. <laughs> My children. This garter edge right here, you unravel it and it makes your fringe. So I had started. No. Yes. So I had started weaving in my ends and then I was like, wait a minute. Right. This is the edge I'm going to unravel. So that's stupid. So I'm not going to weave in any more ends. But um, 
Yeah. You unravel, you un, I don't know, you, you like drop all these stitches at the right. end. Wow. And it's your fringe. Wow. I can't wait to see that. You have to video that right. when you do it. How fun is that? Yes. Um, and then it has this really pretty eye cord edging on the other. Mm -hmm. And I just, I'm kind of loving everything about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will say, I hate the way the pattern is written. Oh. It is written in the most user unfriendly way I have ever seen a pattern in my life. Worse than the on the spice market? Yes. Really? That was at least like your row was written out in one place. Uh, ooh. This one, your row, she calls it four different sections. Like she called, she's like, okay, this is section one, this is section two, this is section three, oh. and this is section four. Oh. So you, ha so I wrote it out. I wrote out my, it's a four row repeat. So I just wrote out the rows, but why couldn't she write out the rows? Right. No, she goes, do the first row of section one, the first row of section two, and they're on different pages even. I had to flip. It was like here, and then here, and then here, and then here. And I was like, that's odd. I mean, I literally had to go click on the pattern in Ravelry, and you, uh, there's tabs. Mm -hmm. And do you ever go to the forum posts? Mm -hmm. Okay, so anyone who's linked your pattern, mm -hmm that pattern in Ravelry, it'll show up in that tab. And so I clicked on it and I was like, I am not the only one that can have this problem. Mm -hmm. Sure enough, there was a whole forum, um, like FAQ help for this pattern. And the first posts were about how, what the heck? Like, don't, she didn't write out the row. That's crazy. You I've have never to figure it that. out. Oh, it was insane. I was like, this is the dumbest thing. I'm and, so sorry. And now like, that you're in it, you can't, you still haven't seen why, like, if there was a benefit to doing it that way? Like, there's no benefit. Huh. But I, I, I am done with her. Like, I took the section, mm -hmm. and I wrote out the row. Mm -hmm. And it's only four rows, thank goodness. Okay. And now it's memorized. Right. But, um, I mean, I was very, I was like, what in the world is she talking about? Like, wow. I couldn't even figure out what I was supposed to do. Hmm. But now that I'm in it, it's and fine. That I was... Like I was mad. I was just like, I don't understand what right. this pattern, why, what? So luckily there's wonderful people on Ravelry right. who were like, she, she, means, the she means right. do this and that's one row. Take all the four sections, that's one row. And right. so I just wrote out the four rows and now I have it memorized. Oh but, and then, um, so you're doing the same four rows over and over. All you're changing is like, um, she tells you in there, like, now do these two colors together. And, do mm. these. and so it's very fun because you're constantly changing colors. Changing colors. Uh -huh. But um, that pattern, Crafty, I know you're watching because you, <laughs> surely you watch this. Right. What were you thinking? <laughs> never. Never again right. produce a pattern that's written like that. Oh, my goodness. Well, I started a sweater. I swatched. Yay! I swatched! Yay! Yay! Oh, okay. I love that. I That's that yarn you just bought on, yes. in, on your Florida road trip, right? Yes, on our Gulf Coast yarn crawl. That's right. So this is Malabrigo Rios in the cyan colorway. And look at that tonal. But. Like it almost looks striped. Well, that's what I want to talk about. Oh. Because I did alternate skeins. Mm -hmm. Because I wanted You're, to you, see. You need to. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but is that why it looks striped? No. I think it's just because there's white and okay. it's just tonal. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because I didn't know if I should use one and then fade like the last quarter of it. You could. But, but then with I didn't Malabrigo wanna... and stuff like that, I would, I would alternate. Yeah. I mean, they're definitely variegated mm -hmm. in different ways. Um, but see, like this one's much darker. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel like if you... Like, your sweater will be faded if you right. do that. So, but, I would and, alternate. Which w might be fine if I looked at them and, and it was top down right. or bottom up. Right. But this is one. It's the My Everything Sweater by Hohi Locatelli mm -hmm. from Interpretation. One of them. Is this your June? Um, gonna... I think it's going to be my July. Oh, okay. Um, I wanted it for June because I am so ready to knit with larger yarn. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Oh. That's why I was like, I'm doing the double. Yes. <laughs> so, um, but... I need help. Okay, I even washed my swatch. And I like this fabric. Like, feel that. Oh, yeah. It's not dense. It's not too loose. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like it's a good sweater totally. fabric. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
and I used the needle she called for. I think it's perfect. My gauge is off. Okay. I have 18 stitches to four rows or to four inches and hers is 15 stitches to mm. four inches. So, I mean, that's a big difference. Yeah. And so you need to knit a smaller yeah, one. Is that what it is? So, cause you have, hold on. Okay. I just, I can't, in my head, I can't okay. get around it. So you I have you eight, no, I'm 18. Wrong. I, I need to knit a bigger one, right? You need to knit. <laughs> I was super confident and now I'm like, wait. <laughs> Okay, and everybody out there is like screaming at us. You need to do. You know. I know, but y'all aren't on camera. It's fine. I'm getting a little flushed. Okay, so you had 18 stitches, and you're supposed to have 15. Uh huh. Which means my stitches are supposed so you, to be bigger. Yeah. So you have too many. Mm -hmm. Which means it's gonna be too small. That's what I'm thinking. If you have too many, it's the opposite. If I wasn't on camera, I would be way more like I would have this. It's so like, I need to go up a size. It's like when your teacher is standing over you and you're trying right. to do your test and you're just like, right. I was fine until you came over here. Right. <laughs> um, so yeah, don't, yeah, because you don't want to change your needle size because right. you like this fabric. And right. I, think, I don't want it to be looser. Yeah, and I don't think you want it to be tighter either. Like mm -hmm. I think it's perfect. Right. Um, so yes, you want to adjust your needle size. No, I want to adjust no, my pattern. Your pattern size. size. Yes, yes. Sorry. I was looking at this pretty fabric. And right the now. way the pattern's written and the way the pattern is constructed, the sweater is constructed, there's no point where you have all the stitches on the needle to where you can be like, okay, so if it needs to, you can gotcha. look at the schematic and say, okay, around this part mm -hmm. of the body is 40 inches or whatever. And if I have 15 stitches to the end, you know, where you mm -hmm. can do that math conversion, there's no point in the sweater where it's like that. So you have to be... So I kind of have to just... You have to, from the start, have the yes. size chosen. and Right. Okay. And I can't I can't decide what size based on how many stitches okay. there are around. So I I'll help you when we're not recording because I'm, yeah. my brain is freezing. Yeah. I can't... Yeah. I'm like so deer I'm in the headlights. <laughs> but I, but I love... love. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Love the fabric. For sure. Can't wait to have a sweater out of that. It's and so soft. I will rock that all winter long. Heck yeah. And it's worse it's so it, so it'll fly by. Right. <laughs> and it's not brioche, so it's like, you know, your shisui, it'll... Exactly. So, since I only have the shisui, and then this swatch was my dark knitting, but the sweater is not going to be dark knitting, yeah. I cast on... My June interpretations, which I really wanted the sweater to be June, yeah, but, but I, get it. I needed something to be dark knitting. Yeah. Um, we have a soccer tournament coming up this weekend. I have lots of soccer practices this week that I'll be sitting at. So I cast on Side by Side by Vera Valamaki. I cast this oh on. Gosh, it's so pretty. Yes. Not yesterday. Two days ago? I'm obsessed with it. Like, yeah, I can't. Those colors. Yes. The colors and I didn't I didn't space I didn't it looks like Bendiero. It is very much like Bendiero. I didn't go like these aren't quite right, but I'm leaving it. Because you're right. supposed to go a certain number of stitches past the wrap stitch. Oh. I counted only past the last stitch. Gotcha. So it's really only off by one, but I think it made a difference in how far they got okay. that way. I don't know. It's all sparkle, by the way. Like yeah. I was trying to get the sparkle, but... So, the yellow, the gold, is Anzula Nebula mm -hmm. in the saffron colorway, which is what I purchased for... Um, snitches. Snitches. And when I was starting on this, both my boys were like, are you making more snitches? No. <laughs> like, no, but good eye, because that's yeah. the same yarn. <laughs> and I wish the sparkle showed up, because it's just yeah. the best. And then oh, this, that's not sparkly. No. Oh, I thought it was. Uh. -uh. Cool. This is Zombie Prom from Miss <gasps> Babs. Zombie Prom. I love it. Like, I kind those of those two colors are perfect. They're so great yeah. together. Um, and I kept thinking, oh, there's gold in in Zombie Prom, mm -hmm. and they're kind of, but there isn't. It's like greens, but it looks goes really so good together. So good yeah. together. And, um, cool. I know. So I, I think 
I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if I got this finished in June. Cause, because that fun. <laughs> yeah. Like, I can't wait to get to the next That's how I am with the Scania. With the strike. Like, it's going to get done mm-hmm. because it's my dark knitting. Yeah. Like that. Because it's so easy now that I've figured out. Now that I've fixed the pattern. Right. Uh, but I'm not bitter. Um, <laughs> and it's just flying. Like. Yeah. And when you compare it to like the panda socks that I basically had to be forced into finish, it's like mm-hmm. this is why I knit. Like not, not for that. Not for yeah, that. this <laughs> is my jam. Exactly. So I love that. I'm glad that we both have some that were just flying. Me too. So maybe, so maybe we, we, will. we will have <laughs> FOs next time because we were a little concerned because we had what six this time? Mm-hmm. Six FOs. Yeah. Crazy. All right. Yeah. So are you done with whips? Yes. Okay. Yes. Trophy. Trophy. Okay. So. My trophies are all from Campbell Slayers. Mine are two. Because basically, um, Diane, Suburban Stitcher, brought kind of like a, tr- a mini trunk show. Yeah. Like she, she asked. She brought a bag of yarn. Yeah, <laughs> a big and bag. It was. Um, a lot. Like we, she had asked, well, what do, what do people want to see? And so instead, because she couldn't bring everything. So, um, so we had done a survey of the people that um, were coming and said, hey, check out Diane's website. If there's anything you'd like to see in per- person, let her know, and she'll bring that. Yeah, and, and then she brought that plus a bunch of others. So. Right, right. So, um, so mine is all from Diane. Nice. Um, so I'll go. I'll go because I only have one from Diane, and, and then you do all yours. Okay. Okay. So... I have been in love with her mohair. Yes. Oop, you dropped a little. Oh, I did. Oh, oh that's all I had left from the. Oh my gosh. From the hitchhiker. Wow. I know. Um. So, I and and in particular, the pink sari silk. Yes. I just love this. I love how it glows from the inside mm-hmm. out because the silk core doesn't take the dye as much as the mohair does and to me it is just it's so pretty beautiful is that gonna focus yeah there we go and i so she had it and i was like okay done. I, i'm done <laughs> i need to get it and um and so then and i'm like okay but what am i gonna put it with mm-hmm. and she had her newest colorway pink grapefruit there and I had seen, I think I'd seen it on Instagram either that day or the day yeah, before. Yeah, she had just finished it. Just like, done right it. before. And so. Oh, it's so pretty. And, and I bought sparkle. it. Yep, I bought it on the sparkle base. And I was like, what am I going to make with it? What am I going to make with it? Like, they just look so great together. Um, and she suggested birds of a feather. Because she's obsessed with that. She is obsessed. Yes. She has five sets yes. that of she's going to make birds of a feather because <laughs> she keeps buying it I love it <laughs> so um so I bought two of the pink grapefruit and one of the sari silk and mohair and I can't wait to make birds of a feather with this well we need to have an in long because yes. I bought birds of a feather yarn too <laughs> so I got and Diane did too <laughs> yes. I so I got the mohair I got Jane and that is so perfectly yeah that's yeah. great and for the the other color, I got Charlotte. Jane and Charlotte. Aww. Are you sure you don't like um, Jane Austen books? I know, right? <laughs> I should. Maybe I should give them another try. Look at that. That's awesome. So pretty. Oh, that's going to be great. So we might have to have like an unofficial right <laughs> just join us as we knit ours because <laughs> i might need some moral support for this <laughs> really yeah i've never knit it oh i've bought it like several times it's not dark knitting well no when you're on but the it looks i hair section hers she didn't have her birds of a feather but she had her everything shawl mm-hmm. by vera and oh my god that mohair lace <gasps> yep yeah so i'm excited for that because that is going to be you know kind of different yeah okay mm-hmm. Else? I do have one more thing, but mine is not a purchase. It is, so I wanted to talk about it because okay. we had. Is it from Trash to Treasure? It is. Because I have kind one, of. I have one too. <laughs> I didn't bring the actual Trash to Treasure oh. that I, I forgot it. So we had, right. we brought, we offered, you know, if you have something that you don't want, you don't want to bother 
with selling it like you know it's it's called trash to treasure we do this with our local knitting group a, a lot we just throw it on a table if you want it you take it you and know? it's so fun because it is you wouldn't believe the stuff that you're like really you're giving that away and they're like I'll oh my that. god you know they're over it but you <laughs> think it's the best thing ever right. it's so fun and yeah. I and sometimes it's non knitting like there's been coffee mugs and mm-hmm. you know makeup pa- makeup I, I bring makeup all the time unopened mm-hmm. packet makeup that I know I'm not gonna use because mm-hmm. I got it like in a sample or something mm-hmm. it's super fun so we so fun. had to have that at camp yeah so we had that, and I actually picked up a skein of Dream and Color Baby Lace. Oh, I, I almost, yeah. is it the, the blue? purple? Yeah, blue. the blue purple one. I yeah. almost got that one too. I don't know what I'm But I was make trying not it, to take too much from I it. Too. I didn't do it till the very last day. I, me too. <laughs> me too. I, <laughs> took, it, I took it on the last day. Yeah. Um, but this is Mohair, Debbie Bliss Angel that I had five balls of this. So that's, each one's 50 grams, so 250 grams of it. And so we had it packaged on the raffle table. Yes. And one of the new knitters that was there, she was eyeing it as her raffle thing, and we were like, Ooh. don't do that yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, she literally had learned I how mean, to knit the a, month before. Yeah, like, she's <laughs> definitely not ready right. for mocha. Right. So, um... So we we talked her out of it. So when nobody chose it as their raffle, I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to give it to her. Well, it was from your stash. Right, because anyway, it was from my so, stash. Right. Yeah. So I... You gave um, her two balls of it? No. Oh. <laughs> so I had it in the room, uh-huh. and Diane's like, ooh, what are you doing with that sage, sage mohair? And I was like, I was going to give it to Jessica, and she's like... Oh, you can make an everything shawl. And then she like oh, pulled right. out her sage. Her every... oh, and right. it matches this perfectly. Like her colorway sage matches this perfectly. And I think I think I only need two balls for the everything. I only need a hundred grams. But um so <laughs> there were five. My mother decided she wants to knit with it. So okay. I get her two. And and I didn't buy the sage colorway because oh. I'm like let me marinate. Let me think. <laughs> yeah. You know, I have so much in my queue right, that I don't exactly, need this right now. Yeah. I know where to get it. I know where to get it. Right. Yeah. So I went home and I shot my stash. And River's Edge. Edge. River's Edge, Suburban Stitcher, in her sock. And yep. I. For the everything shop? For the everything shop. Is that enough? Uh huh. I need one more color. Oh, okay, that's what it is. Yeah. I'm like, wait, I thought it was huge, but because yeah. it's three, it's three, it's two fingering oh my gosh. and one of mohair. But like a total, like a huge, two different colors. Yes, it needs to be a high contrast color. So, and these two are supposed to be the same or super close. close. And which it is. And I did. I had no idea what I was going to do with this mm-hmm. River's Edge. I just bought it to support her right. her fundraiser, and it's pretty. I'm so happy to have something to do with this. And something to do right. with it. This has been in my stash So for what like are you thinking for years. the third color? So. Oh, you have it. Oh. Okay. Not quite. Oh. But I know the color I want. Okay, good. So I'm like, I'm thinking, oh, maybe this color, maybe this color. And then I'm like, get your color wheel out. True. Look at the color wheel. Because we took the class. True. And we got a color wheel. Like, why am I making this so hard on myself? Exactly. So I got the color wheel out. And I'm starting to, like, pull colors, you know, based on, like, directly across was red orange and then like the tertiary colors and you know so this is why and my mom's like and I'm you know I'm like oh but you know and she's like and so I'm facetiming with her because she's good with color oh yeah so I um she's like well look in like your other color your other yarns that wouldn't you wouldn't use for the project but just to see what color." color right Oh my gosh. Plum. It almost reminds yes. me. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, that's really close. That's crazy. So this is Jane. Would you, could you get, uh, no, not quite. Yeah. It needs but to it be might, like, I think, you know, like an electric purple. On a regular, mm-hmm. um, not no hair. base, the Jane is darker. Mm-hmm. So it's something to think about. It is, but this isn't showing up as electric purple as it is. Like, and even in here, um, it's not. It's, it's. But in my light at it's, home, yeah, it was like, it's almost eggplanty here, but yeah, it's a, well, plum. but like a pink eggplant, mm-hmm. which would be awesome. 
So this is on okay, my cool. shopping list. Well, I obviously approve. I mean, it's, you have to admit, it's like the big sister of mine. Like, right. they look like sisters for sure. How right. fun is that? Yes. Because I was, that was kind of like a departure for me, that that mm-hmm. color combo. So yeah. How funny is that? I know. I, I can't believe that is crazy. <laughs> okay. So I picked up off of the Trash to Treasure table. Man, really? I mean, people brought some good stuff. Yeah, they did. This is Miss Babs. Lace. Yet lace, merino and silk lace from the Spring Destination Knitting Tour 2012. It's called Seychelles. You know, like the Seychelles Islands God, or whatever. They're gorgeous. And it's so pretty, and it's lace weight. And I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it, but I couldn't, I couldn't let it, ling- I couldn't <laughs> right. let it linger on the trash table. Right. It's so pretty. So, trash to treasure table, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, like I always find something. Mm-hmm. So I got that, um, mm-hmm. but then a purchase is I did go to the Modern Skein mm-hmm. before camp, and I got the Yarn Carnival colorway that is the Modern Skein. It's their colorway. That is gorgeous. And I mean, please, like I wasn't gonna buy this. Right. <laughs> Seriously. So. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, and she gave me a little, she gave me one of her wood-burned little stitch markers, like we had in the giveaway. Right. Which is super fun. So cute. I got that. And that's all I got from Modern Skate. Mm-hmm. So, I don't have okay. Go and ahead. then we went to WC Mercantile, and I did not get any yarn. Are you so proud? <laughs> <laughs> but I did get two really nice magazines they, they're too nice to be magazines but we got um pom-pom quarterly which it's the spring 2018 and the making which oh my god look at that and this has more than just yarny stuff you know mm. this has sewing quilting paper crafts like it's embroidery got, and it's got stuff that um the kids and i um because they have these you can make like paper flowers and stuff like I think the kids and I will have fun with the making but there's also knitting in there too and it's just so pretty like the the, the photographs and everything are so pretty and just look at that cover mm-hmm. oh my gosh so definitely excited about those and then the only other so we we made a quick trip to Waco the fam and I did because my husband was running a half marathon it was the badass Texas <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so jealous of his medal. It looks like a license plate, a Texas license plate, and it says, I'm a badass. <gasps> oh. If we, if I only would have had someone to watch the kids, I would have ran the 5K because it's very cool. But anyway, yeah. so we went shopping, and I found this super cute um, market called Spice Village, and it's basically like Etsy threw up. And, and it had everything from clothes to housewares to, and so I got a couple of buttons. So this one says, or pins, I guess you'd call them yoga. Oh, and is that a yarn ball in the middle? No, oh. it's like a, it's not a knitting related, okay. but it's going to go on my knitting bag. Right. But it's like a face. It's like a little. Oh, yeah. Contented face. Okay. And then the other one, look at this one. I didn't show you because it's so, so stinking cute. It says, slay the day. <gasps> oh, that's so cute. How stinking cute is that? That is adorable. Uh, so those are going to go it. on my knitting bag. And then just yesterday, I got in the mail from Suburban Stitcher. I mean, I bought it. Right. Like, I didn't. I ordered it because they finally came available. Right. Uh, she got her logo on enamel pins. Or it's not enamel. It's like a metal. It says enamel. But well, I think the color is enamel. Like oh, the pink okay. And so this is her new logo. Because, you know, she's not on Etsy anymore. She's just SuburbanStitcher.com. And look at that. This is, like, the nicest pin ever. I mean... I love the sparkle. It's shiny, and then the um, embossed part is colors, and then there's... uh, The S's are, like, a rhinestone. I mean, it is so glitzy. But, you guys... Okay, not only do I love me some Suburban Stitcher, and obviously I want her pin... But it's my initials. <laughs> I was like, um, that's gonna happen because this is me, Sally Snyder. 
So I'm excited. I love and it. And it's so nice quality too. Mm -hmm. I used the Campbell Slayer discount code and got a dollar oh, off. Nice. <laughs> so that's anyway. awesome. Yeah. Okay. So that's all the trophies. Yes. And that's all the trophies for me. However, I forgot to talk about so I knit when I mm. knit the mm -hmm. above the horizon, I was using the new Chowberry shorties. And I wanted to talk about the process that I used for using these. So I started out with the three inch tips and the longer cable to, you know, do the, the brim and uh -huh. all that part. And then once I started de uh, decreasing, I went to the two inch tips and the shorter cable. Oh I mean, gosh. look at this. This is <laughs> tiny. That, it's not even nine inches. I feel like a giant. Is yeah. that nine inches? I don't know. Maybe it is. But that is so tiny. Yeah. Um, and That might be nine. I'm not sure. It might be. <laughs> I don't know. But then yeah. that even was a little too big when I got. For the top? Right. For the top. So I went back to this one and did magic loop with this nice. one. Nice. Like, oh my God. Nice. I love these things. <laughs> so. Because it's like just long enough to get yes. your magic loop. Yeah. Yes. And Perfect. um But it, it, if you're trying shorties for the first time. Give yourself some time to get used to. I didn't realize how much you grip I the use the, these two fingers to grip my needle, Me to too. like manipulate the needle. But you only, you really only use two fingers with these. Yes. So it feels, it feels like you're using a little two yes. picks, you know. Yes. But and that's I, always been my problem with the nine inches. I yeah. want that. I want it braced on my hands down mm -hmm. here. And so mm -hmm. it does take some. It's just different. Yeah. You have to get used to it. And, um, but I will definitely use these again. Cool. I know. But, you know, last time we talked about the spin cables. Mm -hmm. And, and so, Chalvi, they watch us. <laughs> and so, um, she sent me a message through Ravelry and wanted to, like, give me more information. Okay. Because I was unsure. So she said, you can use the spin clear nylon cables with the twist steel tips. So you were right. They are switchable. You can use them with these. Mm -hmm. So okay. like I could buy spin twist. cables. These are twists. Sorry. Spin cables for the, okay, mm -hmm. cool. So the tips go with any other cables. Okay. So then, you know how I was saying that these go up to three, like the shorty set goes up to mm -hmm. three and I'm like, oh, I wish three. it would go to four. US three? Yeah. US okay. three. I wish it would go to four because, mm -hmm. you know, I'm going to do these socks right. at a four. <laughs> so she said, we are coming out by the end of the year with larger sizes of the two inch and three inch tips in short combo packs. Um, oh, cool. They will start at size four and go up to a size eight. Whoa. So you can totally do like worsted weight hats. Yeah. Yes. Um, each combo pack will contain one set of each two inch and three inch tip, the same size. So like size four, two inch and three inch. Gotcha. Plus a five inch and six inch cable and tightening keys. Okay. Um, then one more thing. The cable in these combo packs will come with a new small diameter cable, which this is already a small diameter cable. I'm sitting here going... Smaller right. than that? I don't think it's smaller than this. It's a new small diameter cable, oh, okay. similar to the red one. So this is the red one. But it will be blue, and X-Flex is what they call it. So extra flexible. Okay. Which these are so flexible, I, I know. can't imagine. Wow. So they're going to be lovely. Okay. And I forgot Neat. that when they sent this. You heard it here first. Right? I mean, I, I, when they I sent am hearing set, it for the first time. I don't know. I heard it here first. <laughs> they also sent because this goes from this goes from zero to three. Mm -hmm. They sent a set of double zero, oh, and gotcha. this is what the four through eight will come as. So the four through eight won't oh, come okay. in a set like gotcha. this. It'll come like this okay, with the okay. twos and the two inch and three inch, gotcha. and then the two cables. Okay, cool. So, so you can build your own set. Yes. So you can build Which some people, set. you know, if they don't ever use a four or whatever, then. Mm -hmm. right? So cool. I know I that mean, is very good information, <laughs> <laughs> right? And but, good to know about the twists or the spins. Yes, because, because I, now I want to try some spins. I know. Like, and I don't have a problem. Like these cables, they don't keep their memory, you know. So right. it's not like I need no no the Chagu cables are right far superior to all others right but 
I kind of, I just, I want to try them. I just want to try them. Right. What if they're right. like even better? Right. Yeah. So I think I'll get them in like a six. Or no, I guess I just get the cable. I don't need to get right. the size. Right. But they're interchangeable. And you have the other right. um, interchangeable set. So it right. so so. would work with the shorties or the regular. Right. Right? Yeah. Cool. I know. Okay. That is good info. I, this is the first I've heard of it. So that was exciting for me. I know. <laughs> I'm super excited. I love it when you don't tell me stuff and then you tell me on camera. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> right. Um, okay. So that's slays. What do we have? Um, and we just did trophies. Oh, yeah, we did trophies. And so we have, do you want to do freebies? Yeah. Okay, I can do freebies. We have some freebies. Um, weeby so, freebie. Okay. So there's one weeby freebie that is time sensitive, and it's called the Naudane Shawl. N A U D A I N. Why do I always spell these things? Because I put it down there. And it is I Ooh, cute. super textural. I like that. Like it has garter ridges and mm-hmm. then it has kind of bobbles and I love the texture in it. And in fact, when I first saw it. I like the colors, it, the color, the way the color's done too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the color. Um, when I first saw it, I thought it was worsted. Like it looks like it a looks worsted. thick and textured. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not. It's fingering. Wow. Yeah. Um, but that one is. Well, that's more likely that I'm going to do it too, which is. <laughs> True. Because I just don't have a lot right. of worsted. So. so that's free for the month of June. No code needed, but it's on Ravelry. Okay. Um, so go get it. So then I decided that my theme for this week's Weeby Freebies is going to be hats. Okay. Because I am going to knit a hat that fits. I mean, just going to. Okay. And since I also am tired of fingering, I decided to do um, worsted weight hat. I do like a worsted weight hat. I do too. Yeah. Um, so the first is an eight is called the Avery hat and I like it because it's just a simple aviary. Oh, you're right. Aviary. <laughs> what did I say? Avery. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh yeah. There's you do you. It's right. on screen. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> aviary hat. Um, so I like it's it because really it's cute. simple geographic or geometric <laughs> We're so hard. I know. We're so pretty, though. <laughs> Thank God for that, right? <laughs> you know, and the texture of the aviary hat looks uh-huh. would look really good with that freebie shawl. Yeah, it's a non- look how good they shawl. look together. <laughs> they do. They look yeah, great. The nice. colors even. Um, then there's new tricks hat, which I like because mm. it's I love mm-hmm. a deep ribbing, um, and then it has a nice texture on the crown. <laughs> <clears throat> I didn't say a word. Just keep going. Okay. Then, <gasps> this is an original name. Cable hat. Ooh. <laughs> so evocative. I know. It's very pretty, though. It is really pretty. And this is what I was thinking I wanted to do with that teal Malabrigo um, mm. that I bought on our yarn crawl. Mm-hmm. And then with the faux fur yes. brown palm. Totally. But it's a single and your experience with the old romance is that the single doesn't show the cable very well. So I'm thinking of, and I mean, I, I will hold it double. I will say I have made a worsted weight single ply hat cabled and it looked awesome. Mm. So I'll show it to you. Okay. Okay. Well, when I'm ready. Yeah. yeah. And um, you can decide. <laughs> yes. Then Marauder's Ooh, that's hat. That's really pretty too. Which I might have been drawn to it because this color is gorgeous. Yes. That red. But I also, again, like a, a longer ribbing, and then um, and then there's the garter texture, and I think there's some bobbles in there. <laughs> it's gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> so then the next one is who with a question mark, um, and it's owls. And I I've love made owls. those. I've made those cabled owls yeah. on sweaters and baby. One of those baby sacks. Yes. I I've, made that baby sack too. I made two because I had twins. Oh, yeah. That's right. And, and I love making those cute. owls. It's so fun to make those cabled owls. Right. So, that's um, a really cute hat. It is a really cute hat. Then there's Colvin hat, which I think this one is oh, simple. I like that. But I think it, it would be great for a guy. Like it yeah. has just one for cable. For either, really. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, that and one that, cable is really cool. That might even be good in like a variegated I don't uh-huh. know. Could be. Um, then look oh, how pretty that wow. is. Totally toasty toque. Oh my or toque. Gosh. That That's is really a pretty. gorgeous cable. Wow. So I um Those are all free. That's crazy. Yes, I know. 
And I mean, I could bust out some hats. Right? So. Especially maybe. worsted weight. <laughs> worsted weight hats are really fun. Next year might be the year of the hat. I don't know. We'll see. Ooh. Um, since this is the year of interpretation. Mm-hmm. But then, oh my gosh. Oh, he keeps talking about her patterns that she's designing for the next interpretations. And she's not really talking about them because she can't really talk much. But every time she gives a little, like, blurb, I'm like, <gasps> like a dog on a bone. Like, what? 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 <laughs> but they just sound so I amazing. I'm All like, of her oh. designs are amazing. True. True. So that's Weeby Freebies. Cool. Yeah. Well, I have one more thing to talk about. We have a giveaway. We also have children that just I came know. in the room. They've been so patient with this double recording. I know. <laughs> been like two hours give us just five more minutes okay one more thing to talk about and that is because i only have only mentioned her like twice (laughs) prairie girl susie has a new design that by the time you are watching this will have just come out it's called evan s isn't that pretty it is um it's brand new it's a three color shawl and it's gorgeous Mm -hmm. lots of textures i'm totally gonna knit it she has gifted us a copy to give away um, to one of you. Yay. So comment below and tell me just the colors that you're going to use. You know, red, white, blue, whatever. Because <laughs> <laughs> I need some ideas. Because um, I'm going to knit it too. Because of course she's going to give us one too. Um, so comment below. Let me know what color you're going to knit it out of. And you will be entered to win. And we'll give that away on the next one. It's going to be a quick turnaround time. Um, and I also, in honor of her pattern, she it's her 20th pattern that she's released. Wow. Yes. She is legit. Right. So um, she is offering 20% off of all the patterns in her shop wow. on Ravelry through the month of June. So it ends at the end of June. So go in there and you'll get 20% off, no code needed. Um, so I just wanted to give her a shout out for that because yeah. if you've been eyeballing any, now's the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I need to go look. thank you, Susie. Thank we are you, honored Susie. to give it away and I absolutely am going to knit it. I just have to get some yarn Yeah, because I don't have any. <gasps> <laughs> I have no yarn. I bet you post I'm, I must go shopping. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> well, I am going to go up to Indiana next month and oh, go to that, right. go to that awesome, mm-hmm. Knitting off Broadway. That's a great thing to shop for there. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So I might be holding off and, and, and buying it up there because yeah. I love that shop. Yeah. So anyway, that's all I've got. That's all I have. To okay. Do. Okay. Hopefully this recorded. I know. <laughs> I can't do it a third time. I don't think I could do it a third time either. No. We just have to just cancel it. Right. <laughs> um, so I have to go feed my kids and send them off to their little afternoon camps that they have. Mm-hmm. And you've got plenty to do, I'm yes, sure. Yes, we still have so. school this week. Oh, right. Your Thursday half day is our last My day. kids have been out for like two weeks. Right. <laughs> so I'm sitting like, oh, yeah, that's right. Your kids yeah. are in school. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Um, so anyway, it was lovely yeah. to meet again. Yeah. And um, we'll see you next time. Don't forget to slay. Bye, y'all. That he well and the boys use it now, but it smells like does, do I smell like aftershave? Like it smells like men's. Mm-mm. Okay, so the scent. I would like it away. if you did. <laughs> oh wait, I gotta go yell at my kids and tell them to shut up. <laughs> Should we say anything about how this is our second time around for the first half? <laughs> Doesn't my face say it all? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> These are my socks. Computer. <laughs> okay. Hi guys, I'm Sally. And I'm Emily. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Sally. No. <laughs> I have a glass face. A glass face. It shows everything. Right. This is the first time doing it. <clears throat> I got this. Yeah. We are perfect. I have like no lip gloss left, but it's fine. <laughs> you can put more on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Dude, what happened to my voice? It just like. <laughs>
<laughs> I did it so well the first time. I know. <laughs> you only get one shot with me. Okay. We're almost finished. <laughs> Nolan, that seconds go away. He loves it. <laughs> when I say give me a minute, he goes one oh, yeah. done. I'm like, oh my, it'll be a sec. One. <laughs> but I'll say a minute. And he's counting. Gotta go seconds. to sixty for that one. Give me sixty, all right? Okay. Sixty seconds. Get out of here. Multiple sixty.